Hi there, wanna learn how to create a fully responsive web design on Figma? Well, in this tutorial, we'll learn two key tools, constraints and auto layout. In today's diverse digital landscape with users accessing websites on a wide range of devices, responsive design has become a must. It provides a user-friendly experience across all platforms. So let's begin. First, search for a design template that you'd like to adapt. You can find plenty of web design templates on Freepik, all ready to use. To find social media templates, go to freepik.com, click on the More tab, then on Collections, and choose Social Media Advertisements. Here, you'll find the best layer templates. Let's jump into Figma. Start by creating a desktop canvas, Use the Frame Creator tool and select the desktop size. It will pop onto the canvas. Next, grab the design elements from the template we just downloaded. You can import them from Photoshop or Illustrator. Remember to name each layer for a better organization. Well done. You can import new resources through the FreePick plugin. Just click on the Resources button and look for FreePick. Also, try new FreePick AI generator plugins. You can create brand new assets for your designs, just like this. So let's design. Begin by fixing the background. Select it and go to the Design window, and then Constraints. Make sure to select the left and right and top options. When you resize your canvas, the background will adapt itself. The next step is fixing the main elements, the title, body text, and the image. Center them within the frame and select them. Go to the design window and choose auto layout. Remember to adjust the vertical gap among the elements. Change the constraints to scale and top. Now double click on each of the elements to change the horizontal resizing to fill. Awesome. For the image, select it and head to the fill window. Change the setting to fit. Great job. All the elements inside the auto layout are now responsive. Let's add the final touches. The word streetwear arrange its constraints to left and center. For the shop and contact info, let's make them auto layouted with an auto gap. Now let's change the constraints to right and center and it's as easy as that. Congratulations, you've whipped up a fully responsive design. So now put your skills to the test and let your imagination run wild. Don't forget to subscribe to FreePick for more tutorials just like this. See you next time.